Good afternoon, everybody. Liz Geeslin here, Better Lifestyle Solutions. And before we get started, I'm going to put something in the oven real quick, and then I'm going to talk to you about it. My sister's here from Australia with her husband, Yuri. We love them. And they're craving greens. They've already been in the States a week, and they were in California at my dad's. And of course, you know, you're overindulging a little bit, and she, they just want something green. So I've got some asparagus in the refrigerator, and I've um, seasoned it with just a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of the Penzi's Szechuan salt and pepper, which is delicious. And I think that I did... I do have that spice on my list of favorite spices. So I'm going to put this on this um, cookie sheet or baking sheet that has um, parchment paper on it. And I've already got my oven preheated to 425. And I'm just going to roast this. It will take five minutes. And then you can see. Because this is, I, this is what I want to talk to you about. Okay, it's the holiday season, and you're probably going to be invited to parties, not only your family parties, but maybe work parties, and you're trying to stay on track. You're, you know, getting in shape and, um, or trying to, whatever your challenges are that you're working on. Um, if you have the opportunity to bring something to the party, bring something that you know you're going to enjoy that's going to keep you on track. And we're not talking trying to... Um, make big major changes during this season but if you can just maintain where then you're going into the new year not feeling like oh do over just doing some mindful things that still allows you to have a great time yet at the same time you're you're going to be keeping within limits i know this is what i tell my my health coaching clients is don't beat yourself up. At the same time, there's a few tricks. Number one, like I just said, if you can bring something that you know, like this roasted asparagus would be great. In fact, I'm on, tomorrow we have our family Christmas, and I'm on shrimp cocktail, and I'm probably going to do this as well. So there's some other green things there for, um, for the family. Another thing is, of course, we usually imbibe in a little bit of alcohol beverages. And a good thing to do is drink water in between and also make sure you have protein. Um, a lot of times too with your having a glass of wine or a drink, easy to go, you know, munch on the bread and the cheese and that sort of thing. If you can, think of something if there is a meat tray or something that you can have an actual protein with or even beforehand, um, some kind of a healthy fat, avocado, that sort of thing. And you know, having that beforehand would be would be good another thing is try not to go to the party hungry I mean that because then of course everything looks great and, and you're socializing and before you know it you're you don't even have a really a clue how much you've actually eaten um, another thing I like to do too is uh, before that is I usually have either my protein shake or my protein pudding before I go especially if it's in the middle of the afternoon then I know that I'm I'm not going to be hungry. I'm still going to socialize and, and of course eat, but it's going to help me um, stay on track a lot better. So those are just some little tips and tricks to just, you know, try and maintain as much as you can with to keep your health in good order during this season. Don't feel guilty. At the same time, try not to just throw in the towel. Just try and um, just do things mindfully. So this is about, well, I'm going to check. It's, they've only been in three minutes. Asparagus does not need to be really cooked, cooked, just al dente. In fact, I actually eat it raw. I already had a few pieces of it raw. So I'm going to get, I'm going to take the mitts out and let's see how this looks. I think it's finished. I mean, see, it's just, it just looks like nice, bright green asparagus. So I'm going to let this sit. That's another thing, leaving it on the hot, on the hot, um, Baking sheet, it'll continue to cook, so I'm just going to let that hang out, and um, this is it. I know I was hoping that you were going to be able to meet my sister today, but she's feeling a little under the weather, and she'd probably get mad, like if I wanted her to do a live with me, so we'll give it a, day. We'll give it a try either tomorrow or the next day, but have a wonderful day today. If you're going to do something social, be safe, um, have fun, and um, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Don't forget, live better. Bye-bye.